Hello everyone, Rupert here and uh, welcome to part 2 of Ryanair Flight 4 Kilo Zulu. And uh, you join me back on the descent, descent into uh, LFRB. Okay, so what are we doing currently? We're at flight level 20. And we, uh, flight level 200, sorry, and we are descending quite briskly uh, down for the approach into LFRB. And we will be aiming to cross the. Uh, oh, just got a message there, we'll do that in a second. Uh, the Delta India November above 3,000 feet, and then we'll be making the right turn. Uh, the chart's overlaid at 3,500 feet. Want some drag, apparently. It's fine, not to worry, and otherwise we're going to come off course. And then we're just going to be uh, descending down to 3,000 to intercept the ILS localizer for the runway. Okay. Lots of loaded drag, apparently. Fair enough. Okay, so approach ref not selected. That means we need to select that. 144, which is going to give us an approach speed. I would say. I think we'll increase that to 6 because there is a bit of wind. So we'll go, and that will make it nice and round then. So we'll be at 150 knots. Some traffic showing up on the TCAS radar. Uh, and I haven't actually yet managed to spot them. 20 nautical miles away, so they're a considerable distance. Uh, maybe just out of visual range. Uh, but yeah, so we are descending. And we've got that set now. We can probably. Yeah, we can remove the resist, the drag now. Not quite sure why those are on. Um, so the seatbelt sign is obviously off, it's on automatic. And the landing altitude is 200 which we set and looking at the the chart we want to really get off the runway as soon as possible because they're, otherwise we're going to have to do a backtrack down the runway which is a little bit dangerous on Unicom so we're going to go auto brake 3 it's saying standard it's not we can actually forecast the weather now so transition altitude is in fact uh, cool. is it say on the chart? I don't know if it does it's not the best chart, I don't think. Oh, yes, it is. It's not bad. Um, does it say the transition altitude? Um, try and find it. As best as transition altitude 5000. Obviously, that's not. It says transition altitude. We haven't actually got a transition level since we do not have ATC on. And the wind at 3000 feet is going to be. 1426. Well, one four zero at two six. Really? Uh, is that what it means? No, it doesn't. It means zero one four. Okay. I'm not used to that. At two six, did I say? I think I said that wrong. Yes, it is two four. That's quite a lot of wind. At six thousand. We have. What do we have? We have one five at two eight. Zero one five two eight. Okay. Just sticking some winds, uh, so we know roughly what to expect. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. It's a little bit confused, I think. Not to worry. I'm actually oh, it did. What is that? Where is that traffic? How far away now is it? Literally going over it. Can't see it. It must be at that airport down there. We'll pull that airport down there. Oh dear. Textures are just loading. Mm, can't see it. Okay. Oh, now it's confused. Now it's really confused. Want some drag. Okay, you can have drag. To be fair enough. You've got a reason to have drag. Because you're being a little bit old. <laughs> That's alright. In terms of that though, we're all good on the approach currently. 40 nautical miles until we're actually <coughs> in the vicinity of the airport really and it's looking like there's pretty much okay so the it's changed the weather's changed a bit since when I uh, first looked but uh, runways uh, runway 35 is still in use and there's broken clouds at flight level so 
2,900 feet and broken clouds at 3,800 feet and also broken clouds at 4,800 feet. So it's going to be very, very cloudy. Which is a little bit of a pain since, um, yeah, it's not going to be pleasant looking at it because we're not actually going to be able to see the runway for the final approach fix. It's not actually going to give me a frequency because I'm not selecting the ILS, even though I am going to fly an ILS hasn't given me that, so I'm going to have to look that in up for myself. It will be, if we were to do the ILS 35, what would it be? It's course 352, and the frequency, um, 110.75. I can actually do it. Oh, it's not happy. <laughs> one one zero decimal seven five, and I will actually ident that, so we find out if it is definitely right. The DR channel. Not sure. One percent, to be honest. ILS. Uh, DME DR should be alright. Should be alright. <coughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay, uh, we'll switch the landing lights on shortly. I think he's happy now with the drag. Don't need any more. But yes, it's going to be interesting this approach since yeah, it's, it's just going to be a little bit odd. Okay, it's identing that now. Dr. That is right, I believe. <laughs> if it's not, I will also tune in the VOR into Nav Two. Um, because that will make sense. One one four decimal three. Let's stick that in. Also with a course of three five two. And we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, landing lights can go on shortly. I might stick out the spoilers just to get us below two fifty knots. Um, other than that, it's looking pretty simple. What we might want to do, actually, in the CDU is just uh, stick in some fixes. So if we're going to go DIN, and we will go for a radial of 151 at 10. Point, at 10. So that will go with 11. That will give us our turn point. Uh, the other side. <coughs> and... Um, 350, what's the reciprocal of that? I can't do it in my head. It's to uh, 170. So 170 at. So, what point would we inset the ILS? Oh, see what sign's going on that tells us we must flip on the landing lights. Um, if I saw something then that wasn't good, but it's alright. According to this chart, so the final approach fix will be at 3,000 feet at the final approach fix, which is. Hello. Hello, sir, on frequency, please. Oh! Okay, so it looks like we've got some ATC. We'll see if it actually works today. LFRN, I think it was. Yes, it is. Uh, which is 134.0. Link engaged. So what we four kilo Zulu. Right now four kilo Zulu. Good afternoon. Uh, descending through eight thousand feet for the I, uh, the DME runway three five approach into uh, Lima Foxtrot Romeo Delta. And right now four kilo Zulu. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, two three four one in the box. 
Squawk 2341. Allez, à 4 kilos Zulu, et dans uh, radar identify. Uh, confirm, do you want uh, DME approach on 3-5 uh, runway? Uh, yeah, I've currently got that, uh, the DME 3-5 approach set in. Uh, can go for the ILS. Uh, Ryanair's 4 kilos Zulu. Roger that. You're now uh, radar vectoring for DME runway 35, turn left, uh, heading 150, descend and maintain 3000 feet QNH 1027. Uh, QNH 1027 and left to 150 and down to 3000, right now 4 kilo Zulu. Okay, so it's only down to uh, 3000 feet now. Oh, bit of turbulence. Who's actually vectoring us for the DME, which is alright. Could have gone for the ILS, but I quite like the DME. Be a bit of a challenge. In fact, actually, we will tune since we've got the DME approach. Um, Actually, looking at the clouds, we might want the ILS. Hmm. Oh yeah, I might ask that. Uh, Rhino 4 Kilo Zulu, looking at the weather, it's a little bit cloudy. Would it be okay to switch over to the ILS? For Kilo Zulu, do you want ILS? That's correct. Uh, affirmative, ILS please, uh, Ryanair 4 Kilo Zulu. Yeah, 4 Kilo Zulu, you are right over going for ILS 35, that's approved. Uh, thank you, Ryanair 4 Kilo Zulu. Yeah, I don't want to mess him about too much, but it, looking at this weather, it's not particularly pleasant for a DME approach. <laughs> okay, so auto break 3, and that's all set. <coughs> we will. So we've got the ILS tuned, which is 110.75, I believe. Watching an arrival. I'll tell you what, I will just stick that in. Got ILS 3.5. Just so we've got an idea of what's going on here. In a ref. 110.75, 3.52. Yep. Standard barometric pressure. I'm going to slow down now. Mm, actually, no, maybe not now. I'll just stick it to 330 and that'll be fine. I will, but looking at where we are, we're going to want to slow down to perhaps one speed. Spoilers on yet. Okay. Let's turn that on. Okay. So yeah, I mean obviously we were set for the DME, but that's because it was a nicer approach in terms of the charts. It I did I didn't fancy doing the ILS from the way I was coming in, but if he's giving me radar vectors, great. That's what I want. That's one. Just maintain 200 for now. We probably actually came down quicker than he thought. Now, fuck the Zulu, turn right, heading uh, 180. Uh, right to 180 right now for Kilo Zulu. Okay, we'll drop, drop flaps 5 now.
approach checklist, our altimeters are 1026. I think he said 12027, so that's, all. Oh, that's fine. Very windy and very misty. Well, it's not too, but it's not actually very misty. This is just kind of standard uh, visibility when you're landing, really. But it's not particularly pleasant weather for the ME. Mm, well, I guess it's kind of clear, actually. But anyway, not to worry. We're doing this approach now. I'm going to go the flap speed plus 5 actually because it's a bit windy. Slow down a little bit too soon, but hey, not to worry. Well, uh, 4 kilos low, turn right, uh, three, heading 315, clear ILS uh, runway 35, report fully established. Uh, right to the 315, clear the ILS approach and will report fully established. Right now, 4 kilos Zulu. Okay. Just reduce to continuous. Trackable landing lights on. Okay. Oh, it's not happy, is it? Hold the altitude, please, mate. It's not particularly helpful. Oh, it's not happy. No, 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 no. It's alright, it's fine. Almost by this. Just to trust the microphone for landing. Can we see the runway yet? I believe that's it over. Where is it? That's quite a long way away. Yeah, I think that's the runway. <laughs> yeah, probably. So tracking course 315 and we will intercept the ILS fairly shortly. <coughs> he asked us to report fully established, so what that means is of course that we will uh, establish this just when you're on the localizer and fully established is when you're on the glide sleep as well. So it's very important to know because it they'll be very confused if you're 20 miles out estab fully established. That would be pretty insane. So <laughs> they need to know what we're doing. Probably clear. We'll reduce down to one six six. The localizer should come alive shortly. One for three. We'll reset that. Localizer alive. Stick that on. Door lock. And we'll drop, drop, we'll drop. That's an, that's an interesting word. We will drop flaps 15 when we are established on the glide slope, or when we're about to establish, just to make it a little bit easier for the aircraft to slow down. <coughs> but yeah, so it's all fine now. We're all uh, established on the approach. Uh, we will do the landing checklist very shortly. I can't see the runway. Yet. I'm glad I didn't do that DME. Blimey! 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 blimey. Ah, there it is. I can see it just through the clouds there. Okay, we're about to report the fully established, because we are about to be fully established, so we'll flaps for 15. I know for Kilo Zulu, fully established runway 35 ILS. And, uh, four Kilo Zulu, your number one, clear land runway 35 at Dina, wind uh, 010, 15 to 20 knots, uh, report uh, runway 15. 
Run F4 Kilo Zulu. Clear land on me uh, 3 5. Thanks, and thanks for the wind. Okay, I'm a little bit confused because I forgot to uh, <laughs> arm approach. Whoops. Okay. Unless okay, you drop flaps there, see. We're going to struggle. Need more resistance, please. There we go. Okay, so I don't know where he wanted me to vacate. I didn't actually hear that. Get Aerodrome two chart up because it's a little bit clearer. It's a bit windy. So we're landing three five. So we'll probably come off at Juliet or Hotel. Manual shortly. Oh, it's so windy. This is going to be fun. <laughs> really, is very windy. 22 knots variable. Not fun. I might want to reduce your power a bit, Mr. 737, because you're quite quick. Um, yeah. 1,000 feet roughly. I'll, I'll disengage auto pilot. We'll see how this goes. Obviously on the landing clearance I should have said my call sign after the clearance but I was a little bit put off by the fact that I hadn't actually armed approach mode which is uh, a little bit of an error. But I'm relatively new to the ATC thing so... <laughs> that was also sh throttle out. Uh, I'm not going to lie, we've got a bit of an issue with the engines. We're going to stick auto throttle back on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, we've got a real issue because engine number two is not responding to my controls. So this is going to be interesting. So essentially we've got an engine number one failure. Hence, this is going to be an interesting landing. Conduct, especially with wind. Why did my <laughs> to it? Come on! This is not fun <laughs> with this much wind and an engine. Essentially, we've got an engine failure because I mean, yeah, we have pretty much. Come on, get it! <laughs> oh dear! Come on, get down. Only one's reversed. That's not fun. <laughs> oh dear. Why did my... Oh, I don't... I really don't know why that happened. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> so the approach was a little bit messed up. November? I don't remember there being a November. Mm hmm. I think it means hotel. Right now, 4 Kilo Zulu has vacated at hotel. Right now, 4 Kilo Zulu, taxi to gate and uh, report for grid frequency. Okay, thanks right now, 4 Kilo Zulu. 
So we're just uh, literally just clear to shut down when we're ready, I think. Thanks, Rhino. Four kilo Zulu. Thanks for your services today, and uh, have a good evening. Bye bye. Yeah. Want to tell myself decimal eight. Have a good evening, sir, and uh, welcome to dinner. Bye bye. Bye uh, bye. There we go. So we're link disengaged. We're done with ATC for today. Switch over to APU power. Uh, went went pretty well. few issues with the throttle there. I, li I mean, look, you can see what the issue is there. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Very weird indeed. I will have to look into that. It didn't, it didn't do it on takeoff. It was fine on takeoff. Um, but hey, that is FSX for you. Actually, I'll just quickly get some ground connections going. Doors open. Open the air stairs. I can turn off the beacon now. Circulation fans, might as well. Switch off the APU. Alright. We're on ground power now. Uh, we're gonna. We'll leave the IRS in. Actually, no, we won't. We'll pretend this is the. Uh, kind of, not the last flight of the day, but certainly the. Certainly a bit of a delay before the next flight. So we can do a bit of a shutdown checklist, as it were. So the flaps are all set. Up to zero. Reset the heading bug just to make everything nice and fine in here. Reset the bar row and everything. Turn off TCAS. And yeah. That's all good now. So we've arrived. A very. I oh know I've gone over the line. I wanted to get out of the way. But yes, that was very interesting as to what happened there. Very interesting indeed. Um, I, don't, I really don't know. Um, it's funny, it really is only controlling... Anyway. It was okay, I managed to get it on the ground with just one engine uh, thrusting us. Um, We'll have to get the ground crew to look at that and pretend the flight crew are going to get online because apparently we've got a jammed throttle lever, is what we'll pretend it was. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting. Very interesting indeed. And you noticed I said, oh, I'll switch on auto throttle. I couldn't do that. But what I ideally wanted to do was just switch it back on so it will sync the throttle levers and then I can disconnect and then hopefully it would have given me control. But apparently, apparently it didn't want to play ball today, so... Not to worry at all. Um, I hope you enjoyed that though, everyone. It's been a very good fun flight to do. A bit of an interesting arrival. Very windy as well. But I mean, it, the landing itself wasn't actually that bad. Even if it was a little bit difficult to, to conduct. I think it might have been a little bit firm. In fact, I can have a quick look now. Um, what was the landing, dis landing rate? It was... Minus 194 feet per minute. And that is a fair landing by anyone's standards. That is, that is nice. Um, the optimum in a 747 is minus 150 feet per minute, so I really wasn't that far off. And considering we had an engine failure, well, it wasn't an engine failure, but it was certainly was a, a systems failure. I'm I'm going to count that as a as a very good landing indeed. But yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. And until the next FSX video, and well, until the next video indeed. Um, take care, and I will see you very soon. <laughs>